as usual. Hey friends, I've been away. I know, thank you for waiting on me. Thank you for all my new subscribers. I've been away for about a month. It wasn't intentional. I've been so busy with work and life that my normal routine of cleaning and making videos has not been my highest priority. So I needed to make sure that I focus on the important things, but I'm getting back in the groove. I know I said that before, <laughs> just life happens and things are unexpected, but I don't want to ramble about that. I want to really focus on educating you on what happens when you don't maintain your garden for a long period of time. And I'm actually surprised. I think my garden has given me some grace. I will say that fall is now becoming my favorite season just because the garden doesn't need as much attention as it does in other periods. So if you're interested in starting a garden, start it in fall. I believe that you will love fall and then the rest of the seasons will carry over. I'm sitting here in my swing because I'm just taking a mental note of how things are and what they're gonna be once I'm done with today's task. So what I'm gonna show you is the things I've done so well so so well I'm super surprised I've watered some of these things probably once a week that don't have a drip system some that I don't water at all I've just let nature take its course and that um, has really surprised me so stay tuned for that because I'm gonna take around the entire garden I'm gonna give you a tour of all the bad stuff that happens of all the craziness that I've let go um, the papaya tree i still have it and um i didn't get a chance to do some new seeds but i did get some starts so i'm going to show you all the new starts that i just purchased for today in the orchard we have a huge huge mess of weeds but in the weeds are treasures so i've got broccoli and cauliflower all along here and I zigzagged it because I want these to stand out and it looks like it's happening. Keep in mind that I haven't watered any of this area at all. None of the trees, nothing has had water from me other than what's rain naturally. I have some tomatoes that are growing in between all the marigolds. We have the sunflower that is creeping up over here. I wish that I put more like I planned on, but I didn't water those and only two sunflowers survived. No watering. The other one is down there at the bottom and it looks like it's a miniature. That is expected with the amount of water that it's received. And down there, I don't know if you notice, we have a jalapeno plant. Over here, we have a habanero. And look how many habaneros that are just hanging here ready to be picked. So we will do that. Over here, I have this African blue basil. And back here, I have another habanero, which I haven't really looked to see what's behind here. But it's still growing, even though it's pushed by the basil. Sun's in my face. Remember that I've told you that the sun changes directions? Well, now it's right in front of me. Um, so a lot of things are getting shaded and other things are getting a lot of sun. But what I wanted to tell you <laughs> is that I've been very surprised with eggplant. I didn't know how large one eggplant can get given the room to grow. This is one eggplant and it is full of eggplant that I have not harvested. We will do that right now and I'm gonna show you what they are. Here we are, <laughs> all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine eggplants from one plant that have been hanging there for a while and it is still producing more. We've got some more blooms and we have some that are about to start growing. So it continues to produce. And the best part is no maintenance, no watering, no anything. <laughs> I'm gonna walk back here just so that you can see the peppers that are just randomly growing. We've got quite a few and they just lay on the ground. It's kind 
come back here. Oh, look, this is a sunflower. This is a huge weed that I'm about to pull. But I wanted to show you this other pepper plant. Like we've got peppers. And I swear that I've not done anything to these plants. They have been surviving on their own. And to tell you that I have left and forgotten these babies. <laughs> I just saw them right now. And they're still alive. I think they've been here for about three weeks on their own, surviving. Here's all the habaneros from the one plant. And we added some more of the jalapenos. Look at the size of this one. It's huge. And here we are with the rest and the mess. <laughs> it rhymes. My dog just did that, so I need to come and uh, fix that, clean it up. All of these are volunteers. You know, I still have an okra that is growing. Basically, those are just seeds. Um, one fell because we had some harsh winds, and um, it's still growing. Like There's pieces of it everywhere. This is one eggplant. I'm telling you, eggplant is ginormous. I had no idea I'd get this big. And uh, this one actually doesn't have any fruit right now. It's just started to bloom again. But it's loving this spot and you know, it doesn't get as much sun. And look at the size of it. Really, really surprised me. Yeah, this is something that I'm definitely not proud of. Everything is dying, but I did want to show you this Tatsue that has been here all year long and it's still surviving. <laughs> Look how gorgeous it looks. I just love these Asian greens. Um, this side doesn't get that much evening sun. This one does. So there's a huge difference just by being next to each other. Um, I'm going to have to fix and put different things on each basket even though I want it to be a little bit more uniform but it's not working out this is all that's been here for a very long time we've got some herbs these are all volunteers from last year um, I've got some mint in the back it's struggling a bit but it's there some oregano some sage and um, I had some tomatoes here and um, I didn't like this area, so lesson learned on that end. Look, I still have a Halloween pumpkin. <laughs> so this vine is my absolute favorite so far. It's still blooming here and there, but it is coming to the end of its season. This arbor did fall and it tore a little bit of the root system, but I think it's still doing great. Um, it's still blooming and the blooms are as gorgeous as ever. The leaves are looking more like fall and I love it. It actually did reach all over here. I know that having it now, it should come to the bottom for next year. I don't know if you remember what I had in this arbor before, but it was a chocolate morning glory. And I have this pot here with some soil that had been there for a long time. I don't water this, I don't do anything, and look what started to grow. <laughs> the chocolate uh, morning glory is in here. All of this, I don't water at all. My sweet peppers. Um, this is a real disaster. They've gotten really large. I should have cut them back. They're falling all over the place. Um, they've got some disease here. Um, so they need some attention. I'll harvest what I can, but we'll keep going. This bed is coming out really nice. We've got the Swiss chard, the broccoli, the red cabbage. Right now is the time for powdery mildew again and the Victoria Blue Salvia really gets it. Um, so I'm gonna have to remove it. You can tell the difference what gets the powdery mildew and what doesn't. So we're gonna get rid of what has powdery mildew. We're gonna clean this up. There's a lot of things in here that have been here all year long. For example, these marigolds, they've come back and now it's looking really good. It doesn't have that much spider mite um, issues like before um, I think it's working out better in the fall sorry about the shade but I wanted to show you my African blue basil if you want a pollinator this is it 
put this at the entrance of your garden and it will get ginormous like this if you don't control it i've let it do its thing there's bees every single day no matter what and it's full of blooms it continues to bloom over and over this is so different than that one there's no bees on that basil every bee is over here but it's too much for one area i could barely walk even though i like it i like having to sneak through but i don't want to disturb the bees and the bees are right here in this edge so just so you know this is pretty crazy here's the view from this angle which is my favorite over here i've got my carrots that are really coming through all this area has carrots i need to add some more seeds we've got some nasturtiums here trailing out i keep forgetting what this one is i did come and trim it a little bit because it was shading my carrots but it's definitely not my favorite i just love the color and it's gotten this big and even bigger i mean can you see i haven't even picked up like i cut it and i just left it here <laughs> i have volunteers everywhere like it is a mess like, let me show you. Oh goodness, that's a lot of work, a lot of work. Like I even have this okra. It's just there, you know. <laughs> I don't know what's the purpose of it, but yeah, it's still there. I have an eggplant bed here that I'm gonna harvest. It's really large. Dun, dun, dun. Huge. <laughs> And for reference, we've gotten to the high 40s at night and we're still around 85, sometimes 80 degrees during the day. So our temperatures are really, really nice right now. I've got some kale in the bag, some more cabbage and cauliflower and all kinds of good stuff back here. This one gets more sun and it's actually growing a lot more than that one so that's pretty obvious um even this one though it doesn't have too much sun but it's still looking better than the other i have basil growing everywhere this one i've let do its thing and it's really pretty this is the lemon basil it's growing everywhere i must say that this sweet Alyssa loves the fall here she's been blooming and getting so large i really love it i just don't like the area that i have her but next time she's more like i think i want to put her like here on the edges or something like something big and bold and i this one looks amazing i like it i have so many peppers a lot of peppers that i've let go that i've haven't harvested I mean look at this it's pretty sad to leave this on the plant and yeah I've done that I've done it all <laughs> there it is so far it's getting pretty full lots of peppers this kale has been here since last year and it's still going I just love to look at it it's super long I never added a support it's just there on a bag and it's got some shoots from the side this tomato is a volunteer. My lemon balm is going through its course there. My beans, even though they were being attacked by some caterpillars, it's filling in and we have a lot of beans. I hadn't come over here and realized how many beans I do have. And I love this look. This bean is so much better than what I had here before. Um, because I get to see the beans really fall and they're purple. They look gorgeous to me. There's just so much going on in here that I need to clean. This basil is just so huge. Another one that I've let it do its thing even though I've cut all this before and I just let this on the bottom grow. It just came right back up. On this side, I also had some beans, but they struggled a bit, and I think it's because this African blue basil that's everywhere is taking over, got carried away with the basil. But I've got some nasturtiums here, some beans. This is some flowering kale. I think these are running its course already. Um, this coleus is just really here for looks. And in the back, I did grow some cucumbers and uh, they did really well until the squash vine bore 
um, attack them. So I, I was growing some cucumbers. There was a lot of them coming through. Um, you can tell right here, they were starting to grow. It was being pollinated and I didn't check on it on time. And yeah, that's what happens. So the cuckoo melons are wrapped around in between the vine and it's just one plant. I don't know if you know what a cuckoo melon is, but they're really tiny watermelon looking fruit that has a taste of a cucumber, actually a sour cucumber. There's so much growing in here. I truly love it, but it's also dying out. But this is what it is. But I love the shade. It's just gorgeous. It's just one and it comes from that side over there and it went all over, all the way around to this side because I've got cuckoo melons growing over here. Like it's all the way. That one cuckoo melon plant survived the summer. I think I had about eight plants that were growing and that one plant, that's all you need. Just one. Can you imagine if I would have had eight of those? I do have a lot of shade, but now for the star. You guys have all asked me about the papaya. Let me take you up slowly so you can see. Guess what I have. I've got some papaya growing. It's November and papaya is growing. And we're still blooming and we're getting ginormous. But I have a problem. But let me scoot back so you can see how huge this papaya is. And for those that don't know, this is a volunteer. This is from my compost. The problem that I have is it's getting too large that it's breaking my raised bed apart. So I can't have it here. And so if I can't manually move it, I'm gonna have to cut it down. And it's so, so large. I don't even know if I can even move it. Yeah, it's gonna have to come down with the saw. If you have a volunteer, transfer it as soon as you can. There got bees everywhere. Um, because it's, it's not, it's not a good choice in the raised beds. I skipped over the other bed, but just so that you know, the look of mustard greens is one of my favorites so far. I just think this is gorgeous and so large. So I bought some more. Back here, I've got some lettuce growing. That's a beautiful head. Um, over here on the metal rice beds. I'm gonna put a link on the metal rice beds because I honestly really do love them. I had this zucchini that would have kept going if it didn't get the squash vine borer as usual. I wanted to show you, I had some fruit here that I didn't harvest, but it was growing. Like, I don't know what's growing in here. This is disgusting. Um, so even though it was late, I could have still harvest a lot of zucchini. So, you know, give things a try. You'll never know what is um, gonna make it through. This is another one of those um, just tests and I actually like how it's growing. This okra is different. I thought I had the other kind, but I'm not a big fan of this one. Um, so these have gone to seed already, but it's still growing. Oh, look, we got some aphids. Ew, it's gross. But yeah, lots of aphids. So that's gonna need to go. I don't eat okra right now. And it does have some powdery mildew. So you do have to treat okra with powdery mildew. My Chinese spinach is going crazy. I don't particularly like the flavor, but the color is just gorgeous. Like why would I not include this in my garden? Just for the looks. Um, this sunflower here um, was the only one that <laughs> That survived, even though I put some in all the corners. Um, it's still blooming, it's, it's gorgeous. I wish I would have staked it down so it was nice and tall here, but I didn't do it. All of this needs a major cleanup. I've got some cabbage down here that's doing okay. My Japanese maple um, is now doing better, but you see all of the limbs I have to cut off um, just because it was just too hot. So definitely moving it. Definitely not the smartest idea to 
put it on top of a rug. I don't know what I was thinking. You should have told me. This was a crazy idea. So I need to remove this and wash it. But just how wild and crazy things are. You know, plants grow everywhere. This is insane. I thought that I was going to be protected, but just so you know, like they're just going through the rug like nothing. And then I have this insane mess on this end. And here we go. This is the craziness, the wild. I've let things go and this is what happens, which, you know, I'm not disappointed at all. This is beautiful. I love it. Let me know what you think below. I forgot to show you my other cabbage over here. I've got four and they're loving it and they get a lot of shade right here. They're pretty large compared to my other cabbage. This one over here. So I'm not sure. They really like it over there and I can't wait to see them get large. So tell me what you think so thankful to be able to have the opportunity to show you what happens when you don't do anything at all <laughs> thankfully I do have the drip system so I highly recommend for you to do that if you have days where we really don't have time for maintenance I wish I had more content to show you throughout the month but you know things happen and I'm so thankful that you're still sticking around I really really appreciate every single one of you I appreciate all your comments for those that have commented lately and I haven't responded I truly truly am sorry I will get to your comments really really soon um, I just needed some time for myself so I hope you enjoyed this stick around I will show you um, a real tour once I clean it up and add all the new stuff oh and before I forget let me show you all the new stuff that I have I've got a lot of good stuff I'm just gonna give you a little glimpse just so that you have an idea there's a lot of things in here and I can't wait to add them to the garden thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one